Right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to install your doors on your Besta cabinet. So I've gone ahead and just opened everything up, laid everything out, I've got my uh, hinges, the soft close open thing, all the screws that came with it. Not sure exactly what these brackets are for, but let's figure it out. Let's get this thing put together. So this is actually pretty straightforward. The hinge comes with all the screws in place that you need to go ahead and just um, assemble everything. So go ahead and set a hinge in place. And it's gonna just screw into the pre-drilled screws that are there. Very simple. You wanna do this by hand because you don't wanna use a drill and strip out the threads. So go ahead and screw one side down a little bit before tightening it down and then screw the other side down. And you see it fits in there nicely. Go ahead and snug your screws up a little bit. You want them to be snug but not over tightened because you don't want to mess up the wood. And then go ahead and do the same thing for the other hinge. So there we go, hinges are installed. The next thing is to go ahead and install it onto the cabinet. So another couple small items I noticed when working with these hinges is, uh, first of all, for the ones that attach to the actual wood, you might wanna back out a little bit before trying to install it onto the surface. Because if you try to set it on the surface here, with the way the screws are backed out from the factory, they don't sit, this this hinge doesn't sit all the way flush to the piece of wood here. And when you go to screw it in, it'll screw in, but then it won't come tight. It won't pull itself tight all the way to the wood. So that's why I say back those out just a hair before you go ahead and install the hinge. And then the other thing you want to do is these two screws right here, which hold it onto the cabinet. These things are really hard to turn at first, so I would recommend giving them a few turns to get them started. Maybe thread them down like halfway, like you see there. And what that does is when you're actually going to set the, the door up onto the cabinet, it prevents you from having a fight with those stupid screws because they're already started. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and get this lined up. And you can see, once this is lined up flush with the top, that there are pre-drilled holes already in the cabinet for you. So from here, all you have to do is get your screws going into those pre-drilled holes. And if your hinge is off just slightly, you can just give it a little twist and as you can see there, it just popped into the hole. Get that screw started. But not tighten it down all the way yet. So you get everything positioned. Once you've got them all started, you can come back and just snug them up. Again, not over tightening because you don't want to strip these threads out in the wood. Okay, so now you want to check the alignment of the door. Okay, so the first thing you want to adjust is the gap here. You can see it's tighter at the top than it is the bottom. So you would loosen this screw here and adjust that gap. So I'm gonna let that come in a little bit. So it looks like we have an even gap. Tighten that back down. So then the next thing you wanna check is when you go to close the door, the alignment here. And as you can see, we do not have an even gap. You want this to stay flush all the way across. That's not happening. So the way you would correct that would be with the two adjustment screws here. So since the bottom 
or since it's kind of sagging this way, we want to adjust the bottom so it's kind of out more. And the way we would do that is by tightening the screw. So we're going to tighten that a little bit. And we'd actually loosen this one a little bit if you want. Kind of do adjust it from both angles. And then check your alignment again. As you can see, that's a lot better. So we're looking pretty good there. Now, if you need to adjust it because this part is the top part of the door is not flush with the cabinet, the way you do that is go and loosen up the two screws here on each hinge on the top and bottom. And then you would turn the screw here. If you turn it to the left, it brings it up. I don't know if you can see that in the video. You can see how it's moving the top of the door. And you would do that on both hinges to bring it up. And so there we go, that's a lot better. So one last parameter you wanna look at is how flush this is sitting with the side of the cabinet here. And again, you adjust that by using these two screws here and you would use them together. For example, my door needs to come this way a little bit. So what I would do is actually loosen this just a bit. So I'm gonna do like two quarter turns ish on each screw. And then check to see if it's flush and that's looking pretty good. But then also double check your alignment here because as you mess with those screws, that's gonna mess with that alignment as well. So, and the reason why you want this to be more flush here is when you put your other door in place, you wanna have room for your other door and if this is too far this way, that could interfere with the other door. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And also top to bottom, if you've got um, a cabinet that has four doors like mine's going to have. But that's the basics of installing a door. Now you know how to adjust it, and I hope this helps you out. Thank you for watching, YouTube.